Good afternoon and welcome to the TPM 4 Minute Friday where we show you tips and techniques for your everyday tasks. My name is Dana Rice and I am the Civil 3D and InfraWorks Applications Engineer. And today I want to talk to you about a very useful uh, little command or really a tool that is available within Civil 3D. It is called Selection Cycling. And what it does is that it allows you to select an entity that is directly on top of another entity. For instance, if I were to start up the erase command, so I will hit E, enter, and select this magenta colored line, you'll see that the selection cycling dialog box pops up and it lets me know that I have a polyline directly on top of a line. And so this allows me to select exactly which one I want to erase. So I will erase the polyline. Okay, so now that magenta colored polyline is gone, but the blue line is still there. Selection cycling is turned on and off through this icon down here in the menu that is in the lower right hand of your software interface. You see now how the icon is like a bluish green? That means it's on. If I click on that toggle, that will turn it off and turn that icon to a gray. So let me go ahead and draw a polyline directly on top of another line so we know there are two lines there. Now with selection cycling turned off, if I go to erase that line, it will not pop up that selection cycling dialog box. So I can come down here and turn it on let me erase again, and there is my selection cycling dialog box. If you do not see this particular icon for selection cycling in your menu bar along this lower right, what you can do is if you select this customization icon over here on the extreme far right, those three bars, click on him, and you will see all of the commands and toggles available to you that will list on this lower menu. There's selection cycling, okay? So that is selection cycling. And thank you very much for spending a little bit of your time today with TPM and the 4-Minute Friday. My name is Dana Rice, and I hope you have an excellent day.